Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Oh, okay, we're going to try this. Try again. Good to be with all of you. At such, a, such a wonderful day to see our faculty, colleagues, students, alumni, friends, and supporters of our community here um, to celebrate, uh, of course, this day at, at CMU. So happy to have you here. Tris and I are honored by your presence. Uh, before I start, I, I was told um, that during this morning ceremony, I had to just stick to the script. It's a <laughs> formal ceremony. Yeah, Rebecca got the same thing as well. Uh, so we had to be, not anymore, oh my gosh. Okay. I've already instructed our panelists, our faculty colleagues are gonna be here. They can do anything they want. So. <laughs> completely endorsed by our provost and the deans and, and, and so on. Before I go on, I want to make a shameless plug. Uh, our marketing and communication folks, uh, after a couple of years of trying, finally gave me an Instagram account. <laughs> I am pretty sure they're already sorry they've done this, but hey, <laughs> too late now. Um, so, um, my Instagram account is at CMU Farnham, at CMU Farnham, and uh, it's at CMU Farnham. <laughs> Just in case you miss it. What's that? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and it has 927 followers as of now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. No, I, I, I personally checked each one of them. Just, I know who you are. Thank you. Um, a, a thousand is a milestone. I would really appreciate to get to a thousand today. My, yeah, I know, it's shameless, I know. How much time do we have for this symposium? Can go down about four? All right. I'm going to stand here until it gets a thousand. No, I, I, yeah. Furthermore, um, I want to tell you that um, there is a new emoji. It's the Farnham emoji. <laughs> I, I tried to tell people it looks just like my brother who's here visiting. <laughs> and they're insisting it actually looks like me. Go figure. Anyway, with that. Good afternoon. I am delighted to welcome you to this afternoon's inauguration symposium. I hope you all have an opportunity to enjoy some lunch with us and enjoy the day, uh, with, especially with our students and colleagues who are all uh, across campus. I'm truly excited for today's program, which covers so many of the areas in which CMU is at the leading edge. You will hear from faculty and academic leaders from seven different colleges within the university, all discussing, and this is really important, how CMU is deepening its societal impact. Here at CMU, we are utilizing our strength at the intersection of technology and humanity to draw important insights from massive amount of data to enhance communities through design, arts, and humanities to apply statistics and mathematics to solve complicated problems, to utilize the power of robotics, AI, and automation to build better tools for cities, communities, and classrooms, and so much more. What really excites me about today is that we will get, into, we will get to hear firsthand from our faculty colleagues and researchers who are making a real-world impact through innovative experimentation and community-focused collaboration. This is what CMU's leadership is all about. Our first panel will explore how CMU is working to turn the city of Pittsburgh into a living laboratory, working to improve the quality of life for citizens as well as to spur economic growth in our region. This discussion will be led by our colleague, Marshall Lovett, who is Associate Vice Provost for Educational Innovation and Learning Analytics, Director of Everly Center for Teaching Excellence and Educational Innovation, and a Teaching Professor of Psychology. After a short break, we will then celebrate CMU's impact more globally. 
with a panel focused on how CMU is helping to solve major challenges facing, society, facing our society around the world. That session will be led by Sarah Mendelson, Distinguished Service Professor of Public Policy and Head of Heinz College's program in Washington, D.C. I would like to invite our first panelist to take uh, their seat at this stage as I turn the microphone to Marsha Lovett. So we're so lucky to have Marsha's leadership at Carnegie Mellon, who has, who she's called um, the classroom space uh, itself a living laboratory where re teachers work, experiment, and adapt to understand how the students do their work best and how they learn best. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Marsha and our first group of faculty panelists. Thank you. 